every time we think it's gonna come off, it's like, no. Oh, that looks promising. <gasps> yeah, I feel like, yay! Oh, look, it's the outside. You're sinking. Oh, no. <laughs> Covered in so much dust. <laughs> Preparing to fill some holes in the hole. Jonathan's just mixing some epoxy. Your nose is just like poking in the edge of the shop. So the plan is we're just gonna fill the holes with some thickened epoxy and then we're gonna put a patch on either side. One on the inside of the hull and one on the outside. And the one on the outside is going to be a lot bigger than the one on the inside, cause, just because of space. Looks like sugar. So we've got a thick layer of tape on the other side of the hole so that it doesn't just fall straight through. And now it's Jonathan's turn to be in the locker. <laughs> the light shining through makes it kind of hard to see what's going on. Tape. I'm hastily taping over the epoxy because it wanted to drip out of the hole and we don't want that. Commencing the very unscientific process of measuring out the right size bits of fiberglass. This is a fiberglass matting. It's very soft, surprisingly. <laughs> Jonathan has measured out all of the patches for the big hole very efficiently. Not wasting a single centimetre of precious fiberglass. <laughs> And uh, now I'm going to cut these patches out. <laughs> One handed filming. There's the patches. And I'm just gonna go and give it a wipe down with some acetone to make sure it's clean before we put these on there. Just spread it on first. Yep. Yeah. Got some greaseproof paper here, and we're just gonna build up all the layers of the patches on here first, and then slap it on the other side of the hole. We've seen conflicting information about whether the smallest patch or the biggest patch is supposed to go on first, so I think we're going smallest patch on the inside and biggest one on the outside but I'm sure a lot of people will tell us that we're wrong. Is this for the big hole or the small hole? Small one. Okay. So we'll see. you can see the second epoxy seem to work pretty well. I'm wetting it. Patches going on. Bought this roller to squish out any air bubbles. <laughs> the noise it makes. <laughs> oh, this is funny. The camera is focused in on the hole. It thinks it's a face. <laughs> Getting ready to put our patches on the outside of the hull and then the 
boat will have two fewer holes than it had before. So back there you can see our cockpit drain hoses and you can see that the one in front has a kink in it. So my task for today is going to be to remove these old hoses and then I'm going to measure them and hopefully order some better hose that won't kink. Okay, I am <laughs> I've crawled back behind the motor. There's the hose with the kink in it. I'm just going to take off those hose clamps and I'm hoping the hose will just come off and not be completely stuck on there. Well, it ended up being really difficult to get the hose off. Um, I had to cut it off in the end. It was kind of fused on there and it was just not going to come off any other way. Um, but it's off now and I am today going to replace it with a new hose. Uh, unfortunately, the first hose I ordered ended up being the wrong size and the reason that happened was we figured we should buy the new hose before disconnecting the old one so that we didn't have like an open drain just sitting there. But that made it pretty hard to measure what size we needed so I ended up getting one that was a quarter of an inch too big in diameter. Um, so then I had to order another new hose, but this is it and it's definitely the right size, I just checked. I'm gonna crawl into the locker, um, figure out how long I need to cut this, and then use a heat gun to give it some gentle encouragement to go on because I don't think it's gonna go on there otherwise. <laughs> Basically, the hose it'll go from here and it goes up and it goes around this corner which is challenging because it's very difficult to actually see back there and there's not a lot of headroom to like wedge yourself in so I'm basically going to be kind of working blind so the heat gun didn't work 
it was basically just impossible to heat the hose evenly and I spent like two hours wrestling with it trying to get it on and it didn't work so we're going to try dunking the hose in boiling water in the hopes that that will work better and I'm making Jonathan go down into the locker this time because I have had enough. This is Jonathan trying to get the hose on. We've got one end on, we're just cutting it to size. Jonathan has melted the hose into submission. <laughs> We are going to run our new main halyard. This is the old one. It is in a bit of a state and it's absolutely filthy, which doesn't help. And this is the brand new shiny one. Basically, you're just going to tie the end of this rope to the new one. Start the contrast. <laughs> and then uh, pull it through. Looks a bit sloppy, but it's holding tight, so that should do the trick. Yeah. It's a work of art. <laughs> Let's see what we have in the locker here. Oh, hello. 